All right, good morning. This is October 7th, and this is a video for uh, some details on purchasing gourds from a large farm, a large gourd farm, in this case, Wellburn Gourd Farm. And this video is a little talking chop about cost and things like that if you're not going to go to a farm on your own. And then just to show you guys uh, that are following my channel and the last video I made where I showed a photo of the ones that they picked out from the field. And um, so this is the invoice. Now, you know, it's funny when I made that Go Get Funding page. Um, <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, I'm not used to asking for money. And, you know, I've been living on a certain budget. And, you know, I'm always, I pay my bills and I pay my rent and everything. And then I have a little bit left over. So um, when I got this final uh, prize, I was kind of way shocked. But also because on the phone, there was a bit of misunderstanding. So they charged me cleaning fees for the gourds, meaning that they scrub the outside and then mail it clean. And it's sort of their policy. Now, if you go there in person... This is for people who might want to get into the gourd crafting business. If you go there in person and pick them out, it's a whole different conversation. But for for them to um, mail custom, and, and they consider shakery gourds custom gourds, not just bottle gourds. So things have kind of changed. Like there's a lot of customers that the um, harvest season is in the spring, like um, March, April, and everybody that is you know, wants them, comes and gets them right away. So when I called her on the phone, you know, and started the order, she said, well, it might take, she said, it'll take two to six weeks because we're out, of, we're not in the season. You know, we're at the end of the season, so the guys are going to have to dig around the thousands of gourds just to find the ones you want, shakery gourds. And I even gave her a wide window of options. I said, well, even if there's a crack, it's okay. If it's shaped this way, it's okay. I wasn't real demanding on them being perfect because they're not, you know, like these here, like they're not ever, ever all the same. So these here, for example, they're generally the same size, but see, they're not the same neck size or anything like that. This And this is an old, this is an older gourd that I'm working on. I've changed the net on it. But anyway, uh, let uh, let me go back to this one. So, so um, when she sent me the final bill, she charged a cleaning fee. So I just want you guys to know, whoever wants to buy gourds from a farm, that they charge cleaning fees. So for the smallest one, it was $3 uh, to clean 11 that range from uh, 8 to 10 inches is 55 bucks. Now, this pays the workers and everything, so I get it. And it's California, and I get it. The gourd industry seems to be kind of a... Oh, what's another word beside elite? Uh, it's very interesting. It's still a thing. You know, there's there's a, a market for gourd art out there, and it's sort of a hobby thing, you know, in a way. But if you're a gourd artist and you find the right market, meaning art gallery, like I could talk a lot about where I used to sell to wealthier people that, and also people that uh, build homes that use them for interior design and so it's sort of like a high-end market, this gourd crafting business. The and so, but anyway, so yeah, so cleaning fees, and I was all bummed out because I didn't want them to clean them. <laughs> so the um, so those are the cleaning fees and the custom bottle gourd. The so one the small um, six-inch gourd that's going to get here it was nine dollars, ten dollars. So if I was there in person and I wanted to buy a small shake a gourd unclean and I'm walking around the farm this would probably be half this price five or four bucks something like that in the olden days I mean they were two dollars so you see inflation's a thing 153 dollars for um eight medium gourds that eh? you know now of course in the olden days um we used to trade I would either trade a finished product for raw gourds um because they have a gift shop there and in fact you know, I I had some other issues with this farm because I once sent them photos of some of my art and they never returned the photos. But anyway, I'm not going to go on and on because they're supplying the world and I guess it's it's a big business. But you know what I mean? It's like everyone needs money. 
And I could start lecturing on my griping about this planet where every everyone fucking needs money, so everybody's... It's not even greed, it's need. When does need become greedy? I don't know. But anyway, so the total cost is $487 for basically 14 raw gourds. Um, now, in the long run, that's fine. Um, it's, it's all good, but I just want to show you guys. Anyone that does donate to the... Um, that go get funding thing that I made. I appreciate what one person did. That was so nice. Um, and what did I do with that donation? I went and bought some beads online and I could do a whole lecture on beads. I just bought a whole ton of new beads and I got to get more and more because it's going to be thousands of beads. I'm going to need to make all of these. And I also bought some string. Anyway, I'm going to give little lectures later on about string. I got this new kind of string that's real skinny and everything, but it works really nice for certain things. And this string here is all full of wax. So anyway, if I teach workshops on how to make them, that's when I break down all those details. But what I'm trying to do is just get all of them made around me because it's kind of like my little family. It's like having an army around me. So like once I have a ton of shaker eggs, once they're all done, I'll go outside and then I'll make a video playing each one and show, just break down a lot of information about you know why anybody would want one of these or actually two or three <laughs> and um, things like that and so I'm just gonna go back into you know high gear with the shaker ray business which I kinda thought I wasn't gonna so it's been many years since I've been kinda full force with it but um, I have a lot to say about that um, yeah so anyway but I just wanted to give this little breakdown here so you can see where any donations go. Um, like I said, they, you know, when I told her I didn't have all the money now, <laughs> I was freaking out because, by the way, I might as well say this, PayPal, for anyone that uses PayPal, um, they let me ha do a, because uh, I, I don't have a credit card. I don't use credit cards. I have no debt. Zero. Zero debt on nothing. That's a great feeling. However, I can't qualify to get a credit card, you know. <laughs> So, but PayPal ha gives me this thing. If I buy something from PayPal, uh, eBay vendors, um, I can pay f in four payments for something. So that is really helpful, right? If you're living on a limited budget and you don't just have all this extra money. But in this case, this particular vendor would not accept the four installments. That's why I did this, because I thought, oh, I can pay half now and half later. But anyway... So then I, I had that, you know, that feeling you get when you don't have enough money. Oh, it's an awful feeling I haven't had in a while. So I asked the farm, I said, oh, <laughs> you know, I can't pay now till later. So she gave me six weeks. And I know by the first, I'll be able to pay the whole thing on the first. Um, and I could go borrow money, but I don't like to do that. So I started to the, the, get the funding thing because, um, you know, what the heck? You never know. Some philanthropist might show up and pop in 5,000 bucks or something because I am going to work. You know, all I have to do is sit here. It's good for my back and my health to make these. And I have no trouble making them, so I'm good at my word, that's for sure. So anyway, <laughs> and then I have a whole long lecture about why it's important to have shakeries produced in the United States and made and sold and everybody should have one. You know what I mean? So there's a market out there for them, but you have to create that. I, I have had to create that market, and other instrument makers have had to create that market too. And times have really changed. Um, things are all online nowadays and everything like that. And I'm trying to get physical. So once I have a dozen of these here, then locally, you know, I'll put the word out and see if I can teach classes. Okay, so anyway, so that's the update for that. And thanks, everybody. And I hope this helps some gourd person if you want to turn that into a career. And um, someday I'll talk about fiberglass shakeries because, anyway, there's so much to say. There's so many details. Okay, have a great day, everybody. Bye.